first started HMD then uh, six six months ago, I guess, uh, back in back in the winter. Um, I met with one of uh, the guys who runs the team, Mark Annabel, at a reenactors traders fair sort of thing. Um, back from my days of reenactment, which I used to do for a few years before doing this, um, and uh, I got chatting with him, and basically he recognised I was a a big guy and up for up for something a bit rougher than what I'd been doing, and uh, yeah, he asked me if I if I wanted to start training with him, so so I did, and uh, I sort of just got involved, and I've I've been fighting ever since. Go on, Dan. Think Keep about pushing the, him. Think about the Punch leg. Him. Good, good, good. Think about the leg. A HMB, the sport, historical medieval battle. Um, it, it, it's often confused with uh, reenactment in in itself, which I guess it's a form of. Um, and it's it's also often confused with um, something called uh, live action role playing or or LARPing, um, which is sort of uh, so so LARPing then is is sort of fantasy um, playing a playing a part playing a character um, dressing up in all these all these weird clothes and pretending to be orcs and dragons and, and stuff like that um, a re reenactment then is is putting on a putting on a, a show sort of thing in front of the in front of the public um, where everything's all staged and, and all meant for display and an HMB then um, you're you're wearing full um, sort of authentic, authentic uh, protective steel equipment, everything you know real as it as it would have been, and you're you're fighting all out. So it's um, and it's it's a it's a sport. It's a registered sport with the the, the HMBIA, the uh, HMB International Association, um, and it's got its own world championships and its national championships and you know, stuff like that. Um, it's, the, it's the competitive aspect of it that, um, that sort of differentiates it from, uh, from reenactment and, and LARPing, I suppose. And frankly, it's a lot more hardcore than either of them. In HMB, it's, the fighting is full contact, so there's no um, there's sort of no limit of how, how hard you're hitting your opponent and stuff. And we have a very, uh, sort of a very small set of rules, like um, there's no, no attacking the back of an opponent's neck. Um, there's no, uh, there's no uh, holds allowed on your opponent in, in sort of wrestling aspects of things. There's no holds on, allowed on your opponent where you twist a limb beyond its, its natural point of bending. Um, there's no... Uh, once an opponent is knocked to the floor, um, that's your opponent out of the competition. Um, and so there's no attacking your opponent when he's on the floor. Um, and that's, uh, that in itself is the objective of the, of the, of the group combat, is to knock your opponent down. So he's either flat on his, flat on his ass, basically, or knocked to his knee. A lot of us have come from a sort of reenactment background. And for us to go from that straight into this sort of competitive atmosphere, it is difficult, and it's been a bit of a shock to us. But uh, you know, we're we're progressing so so quickly, and it's it's good to see us come so far in such a short amount of time. It's been what six months since we sort of formed this group, or since we joined uh, the Welsh guys, and uh, and we're doing really well. But only because we train so often and so regularly. We train in Roth Park uh, currently. It's been nice over the summer months to have a nice outdoor venue here. Yeah, in the shade, you know, have a few sort of trees around. Um, when we when we first when we first started this up, towards the, the winter months, uh, we picked up a an indoor venue over in uh, Pentrich to the north of Cardiff. Um, but as time progressed there, we, we sort of found that an outdoor venue, like in a public place, like in a park here, is, is great for getting members of the public sort of interested and involved and you know, getting people coming over and, and looking at what we do. You need to get yourselves in the right sort of mindset for this. As you see, see we all came from reenactment and the fighting you do in reenactment is it's worlds apart from this. And you need to get yourself in the right mentality. It's, it's more like boxing or MMA. And, uh, and without that, we'd be useless. We train 
every weekend we try to, but sometimes when there's uh, tournaments on or we're busy, it'd be every you know it'd be every other weekend. But I think we train the most regularly out of all of the uh, the UK team. Closer to the tournament, we'd have a massive training day in uh, sort of central England, and that and then we'd have all members come to that uh, 20 to 30 sometimes. And those training days, they're much more structured. They're much uh, you know we have sort of set fights. We have one v ones, five v five and other sort of drills and things. But in between that we have these sort of more regular, smaller training days. And they're not as structured, they're much more relaxed, but they're still good because it gets us in the right sort of mindset and the right sort of mentality for it. And it just, it just keeps us fresh. We usually start with some 1v1 fights, and then we move on to some 3v3s or even 5v5s if there's an, you know, another bus. And after that, we do some more sort of specialised drills, some uh, two versus one, some five versus one, just to get you into the uh, into that sort of, sort of mentality. Because you will end up fighting on your own at some point in a sort of three versus one. And you, you sort of need to know how to handle yourself in that situation, really. There are some people I think who are um, certainly in the reenactment world. I think more than um, more than in H and B, you get a lot of escapists, people who. Uh, people who maybe uh, they're a bit too eccentric for um, to enjoy their their everyday life wholeheartedly. I think um, so. You get people who are in for for that sort of that sort of side of things, um, but uh, you know, in in HMB, the the people tend to be a bit more. Um, they like the the competitive aspect of it. Um, I certainly just enjoy the the feeling of, of uh, you know you get while while fighting people, um, and there's also a, a great sort of sense of camaraderie as well. We take in people mostly from a reenactment background because they have the kit, um, they have the the gear already. The closest thing I do to this is is uh, Viking Age reenactment, uh, which is basically what it says, reenacting certain battles in history. Uh, the main one we do is the Battle of Hastings, um, which I've, I've done for about 10 years and and uh, up until recently really enjoyed. The reenactment side of, of, of the hobby is um, it's very staid for me now. There's no, there's no enjoyment there anymore. It's, it's, it's not physically challenging enough. Uh, and, and whereas this fits the bill, you know, this is uh, full contact um, and a lot more heavier going. I'm looking for a controlled release of aggression. I used to play rugby, which used to fit that bill. Um, I, I haven't really gauged how violent it's going to get or how intense it's going to get from the training session uh, but yeah I think it's, it's 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 something I could get into you know this the sort of people that we that we really welcome to the team are, are those with full contact sports experience um, people with martial arts background um, you know because obviously wrestling is a big part of part of the sport um, it's one of the best ways to knock, knock somebody down and as, as is like tackling so you know I'm from a rugby background so you know being able to take a hit without falling over is, is really useful. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, uh, people, people going into this with a full contact sports or a martial art background tend to, tend to have an advantage over, over people who have just been really actors all their lives. You go either, you go one of two ways really. You either, you know, get straight in, you know, like a duck to water, or it's just not for you. It's 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 a very aggressive sport. It's more like say you know, uh, MMA or boxing, like I said. And if you're not an aggressive person, you know, you just won't do well in it. But uh, most guys that come to our trainings, they do they do so enjoy it and they do like to get involved and uh, it's got a smile on their face at the end of the day. So it is a lot of fun. Um, you know, I I say to anybody out there who who sees it and likes the look of it, just to come and meet the guys at training basically. There's no substitute for for getting involved if you plan on getting involved.